EA will not be making games about the Star Wars movies? New writer hired for a AAA Star Wars game? Cyber Race Gaming is alive? Let's talk about that today on today's episode of the Star Wars Battlefront 3 Show. Hey guys, what's up? Cyber Race Gaming here. Welcome back to the Star Wars Battlefront 3 Show. It has been way too long since I've seen all of your beautiful faces, especially you right there in the back. I see you. Don't you think I don't see you? I do. And it's been about two months since I made a video, and I'm so, so sorry. I've been extremely busy, guys. I promise that there will be some consistency coming up soon, and lots and lots and lots of more videos coming your way. So here we are today with some new news regarding Star Wars Battlefront 3 and Star Wars games in general. But before we get started with that, I do want to take a moment to talk about Patreon. Patreon is a new way in which you guys can support a creator like me. What you do is kind of like a Kickstarter. You pledge a certain amount of money that you want to donate to Cyber Race Gaming every time a video comes out. Now you can set up a monthly thing so that if I make like 20 videos, you're not paying a ton of money. But let's just say you guys all took the time to donate like $1 per video or even $1 per month on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash cyberracegaming. That would just assure me that every time I make a video, I already have a certain amount of money made from that video. And so then I don't have to worry about advertisements. I mean, I'll still have them, but I won't have to worry about, you know, doing sponsored play, like ad placements and selling out. And I won't have to worry about, you know, rushing videos uh, because I need to make, you know, money. Uh, as you guys know, this is my job and the more help I can get from you guys, the better. So if you like my content enough, you think that you'd like to contribute like a dollar a month or a dollar per video, uh, if just a fraction of you guys took the time to do that, it would make a huge difference. You don't even know. Uh, but I'm rambling here, so just forget that. Patreon.com slash CyberAceGaming. The best contributor of the month gets to be in a Cyber Ace Gaming video every month, if that entices you anymore. Probably not. Let's get into the news. So first and foremost, a couple weeks ago, EA was interviewed about the direction they want to take the Star Wars games in. They responded by saying that they were not looking to create games around any particular movies, but rather that they would rather take Star Wars in the same direction that Warner Bros. has took the Batman Arkham series in. Now, if you don't know the Batman Arkham series, it's an awesome series that consists of three going on four games now, made by Warner Bros., that follows the story of Batman, a story that we're familiar with if you know the comics, but isn't necessarily reflected in the Batman movies. This is the same thing that EA wants to do with Star Wars, where they can create games that tie into different Star Wars stories, but might not necessarily be from the new Star Wars movies. Now my friend Elliot from youtube.com slash battlefront updates said that he believes that this could mean everything or it could mean nothing. And honestly, I'd have to say it means both. I think for some games like Star Wars Battlefront, we're definitely going to see some tie-ins to the movies, but probably not tie-ins into the movies like Episode 7. The new Battlefront game is a reboot of the original series. The original series followed the stories of the movies. And I think that we'll see in this reboot also doing the same thing and following suit and also following the original story of the movies. But at the same time, I think that what EA is trying to say is that they want to use the Star Wars universe to create new games and new experiences that might tie into movies, but not exactly portray movies plot. For instance, I don't think we're going to be seeing EA make Star Wars Episode 7, the game, but I do think we're going to see some games from them that might reflect the certain things that happen in the movies or be spin-offs of that, and I don't think that's impossible that we'll ever see any games that contain that movie content, I just don't think they're going to make games completely focused around the movies. So well said, Elliot, because I think that that means everything and nothing at the same time, if that makes sense. Be sure to subscribe to Elliot, youtube.com slash battlefront updates down below. That's just a quote that really stuck in my head everything or nothing, and it's really true. It means nothing in one aspect where games that should follow the movies probably will, but it means everything in the aspect that we can expect EA to create some new immersive experiences in the Star Wars universe that we might not otherwise see in the cinema. In other news pertaining to Star Wars games in general, EA has recently hired Amy Hennig, who was the writer and creative director between Sony's immensely popular Uncharted series, to be the creative director on Visceral's upcoming Star Wars games. If you're not familiar with Visceral Studios, they are the creative minds behind the Dead Space series, and they are currently working on an unannounced open world AAA Star Wars game. Now we have this writer who is also has experience building these big open world games like Uncharted, now behind the project as a creative director. I think it's really cool that we're getting some big industry people in on some Star Wars projects. Now we don't know what this game could be, but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm looking at a Star Wars 1313. You know, Dead Space is an awesome series, Visceral makes some awesome games, they're really good with space, and I'm really, you know, how Dead Space works, you're inside of the ship and stuff, all of that, and then there's 1313. 
what you're inside of these inner levels of Coruscant. And I think that Visceral honestly could probably do a great job at portraying this new game. And I'm so pumped to see what Visceral rolls out. I really hope we see something at E3 this year, guys. And if they're not making a 1313 game, maybe we'll actually see that Death Troopers game I totally made up in that one hit video of mine. Guys, you guys always ask me about that video, and I have to say, I was just making a video to talk about an idea. Nothing of that is confirmed. It doesn't mean I want to see zombies, but it would be kind of cool to see what the makers of Dead Space could do with a horror Star Wars game. So we don't know what they're going to do, but you can stay tuned to the Cyber's Gaming channel to see uh, up to date on everything going on in the Star Wars games universe. Really, really hoping that we see a reboot of 1313, which was going to be about the notorious Boba Fett. And I think a game about Boba Fett would be pretty freaking cool because bounty hunters are awesome. Anyway, though, guys, that's about all we have to talk about today. So thanks so much for tuning in uh, Star Wars Saturdays. We'll be making a return, and I'll try to be more consistent with my upload schedule. Whatever you want to see, leave a comment down below. If you guys want to see some Elder Scrolls online, comment that down below as well. If you just want to see Star Wars stuff, let me know, because you guys watch, so I produce what you guys want to see. Thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Gaming. And remember... Stay snazzy.